The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to today's webinar. My name is Erin Holscher. I'm the Business Development Manager here at ASTA. I'll be the organizer for today's pro presentation hosted by Herta Gruten. Herta Gruten is going to be talking about their Black Friday deals today. So I'm so excited to announce that one lucky advisor attending live today will win a $100 Amazon gift card courtesy of Herta Gruten. Now you must be on the presentation from beginning to end to win. We'll announce the winner live after the Q&A session. Before we get started, I'd like to point out just a few important features that will allow you to interact with us. We'll be answering the questions at the end of the presentation. However, absolutely, I encourage you to feel free to submit those questions throughout. To ask a question, you'll use the GoToWebinar pane. Near the bottom is an area that says questions. There is an arrow right next to where it says questions, and if you click that, it's going to open up a new window pane. This is what you'll use to communicate with us. If you're having trouble hearing the presentation, please make sure your speakers are turned on and linked to the correct portal. If you called in, try hanging up and dialing back in again. You can send me any technical issues via that questions pane, and I'll try my best to answer via that same pane is where I'll respond. Please also note that all audience members are muted. We certainly want to hear from you, but we have so many people on the call that the background noise would be prohibitive, and we want to ensure that everyone can listen to the entire presentation. Lastly, please remember that this webinar is being recorded and available for on-demand viewing at asta.org in just a few short days. Please join me in welcoming today's presenter, Lynn Wilson. Lynn, take it away. Good dog, Allah Samman. Good day, everyone. Thank you, Erin. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I am indeed Lynn Wilson. I'm a business development manager for North America East for Hurtiruten. And in the background, we do have Tiffany Kilgas, my West counterpart, business development manager for North America West. Together, we form a small yet mighty team. And uh, just to give you a quick overview here, if you want to take a quick screenshot of our territory map, as well as the contact information, we have a few short goals here. That is to save you time and add value to your day. That is not a one size fits all. So however that looks to you, please let us know we are here to help you with your sales processes. Uh, we are going to go over our Black Friday sale today, as well as our new product offerings that I have dubbed Working Smarter, Not Harder, aka Less For You To Do. So I hope you enjoy and I hope that you have some clients that will be interested in what we have to showcase here. But before we dive into all of that, I do just want to address that we do have two brands. We have her basically covers all things Norway. And then we have HX Herfiduten Expeditions, expeditions to some of the most remote regions in the world. So today's webinar will be featuring our Norway brand, Herfiduten Norway. And I think it's important to know your Norway because we have a rich history and a large part of that um, holds its roots in these basic stats that you'll have on the country. So there's a couple things I really just want you to hold on to here. Two thirds of our country is mountainous and we have a record breaking number of fjords. So both of these things combined basically give us one of the most beautiful coastlines in the world. It's a big draw for tourists from all over the world, but I want you to see it in a little bit of a different light. So while we all have waterfront properties uh, in these coastal communities and we have these beautiful mountainscapes behind us, imagine how easy or difficult it will be to get from one county to the next. I grew up in Norway, right here outside of Trondheim, right along the Trondheim Fjord. And I can tell you getting from Landsvik over to, for example, Erlang uh, needs to be crossing some stretch of water. So that's my long winded way of telling you that getting from point A to point B was difficult back in the day. Mail could take weeks, packages could take months. So in 1891, our government basically floated out a contract to seafarers and basically asked, is anybody willing to traverse the coastline here and also sail at night? In 1893, we were founded by Captain Richard Witt, who had already been mapping his route. Um, and he undertook this route from Trondheim and basically carried mail from Trondheim here up to Hammerfest. So if you can imagine that what used to take weeks to months, he then achieved in a matter of days. 
of their, their own Hürfgeruten was born. Hürfgeruten quite literally translates to the fast route. Here's your first fact on Norwegians. We are very literal people. So if you think that they got to Hammerfest and they said, oh, you know, that was, you know, a very fast route, uh, we should call ourselves the fast route. That's probably exactly what happened. My maiden name is Isline. I am in fact named after the gravel road where I grew up. So very literal people. If you tell us a joke and we don't understand, just bear with us. Um, so basically this route was formed and it was formed with the intent of basically connecting the coast, forming that sea link between the southern and the northern regions. Export was largely born with our operations. A lot of the prosperity of the country can be tied back to our operations. And it was such a wildly popular affair that we later expanded the route to encompass Bidegem, Norway's second largest city, all the way up here to Kirkenas. So when you are positioning this product or this itinerary experience to your clients, I do think it's important to also make sure that they know that the intent has always been that these would be working ships to connect the coast. There are 34 ports of call between Bidegen and Kirkenes, and we call upon all of them over the course of seven days. So that means that um, how that will translate to your client's experience is that for this route, we call it the original Coastal Express or the classic route or the mail route, um, they should expect, generally speaking, slightly shorter port stays than what they might be used to on river or other ocean commercial cruises. However, we still have that beautiful mountainscape, the beautiful coastline, one of the most beautiful coastlines in the world. So we organically morphed into a leisure travel company as well over the years because it's such a beautiful cruise that leisure travelers ended up flocking to us. And in North America, we gained quite a bit of notoriety when we basically, I think, took the uh, Guinness Book of World Records for the longest live stream. So we mounted 11 cameras on one of our ships and we live streamed our entire voyage from Bidegen to Hirkenes. So if you've heard of the world's most beautiful voyage or minute by minute, that would be referring to our ships. So we haven't looked back since, and we operate this route even now, year round, six ships. So anytime you have an inquiry, we will have multiple departures in a given week. So I am gonna focus on the realm of the Aurora for a, little, for a little bit because a few of our experienced launches do hold roots in the Northern Lights. And you also, this is a great way to get your clients excited about Hurtiruten. We understand we might be Hurti who here in North America. That's okay. We're trying to get to Hurti hey. And, uh, but one way we can do that is through Northern Lights. So they might not be looking about Norway right now. They might not be looking for Hurtiruten, but Northern Lights is a hot topic. And I'm here to tell you that Norway is a fantastic place to see them. So you have homework, ladies and gentlemen. I need you to look up the Aurora Oval. I need you to look up the Northern Lights forecast. And I really encourage you to look up the Solar Maximum. This will really help you in your sales processes. So the Aurora Oval is the area where Northern Lights are most commonly seen. Um, anywhere underneath this oval is a great place. So if you have, uh, you might think of Iceland, they have such great marketing teams. So you might think that uh, Northern Lights should be viewed in Iceland or Alaska, both great places to see them. But let me tell you something here, Northern Light season generally runs from around September through March. They do occur year round, but we have midnight sun in the summer. So you need darkness to see them. So what is a common characteristic with those uh, fall and winter months. It is cold. So you can have your clients do a land-based excursion, but right then and there, they're already going to have to travel outside of cities to get away from light pollution uh, in order to see the Northern Lights in their most beautiful display. So that means they might be stuck outside for hours on end in the freezing cold, having to stay up all night with no sleep. So I would like to offer you an alternative. Why not consider a cruise? We already have no light pollution from ship. We're already on, off the coast. So there's no light pollution. And you don't have to have grumpy clients. Let them go to bed. Let them get their beauty sleep. We will wake them up if the northern lights occur. So that right there should capture your attention. 
I'll give you an example. Tiffany and I went to Norway. We hosted a fam just a few short weeks ago. These are recent photos taken with our cell phones um, just about three weeks or so ago. And we had Northern Lights occurrences four out of the six nights. And I'm going to showcase you the uh, 1893 bar, but here's the beauty of it. So there was one night where we actually all went to bed 1.30 in the morning. We get the notification that the Northern Lights occurred. We pop out on deck. We hunt the lights. We run inside. We warm up, have a cup of hot chocolate, geek out about whatever it is that we've just experienced. And then we run outside again. So it was just an electric experience. And all of these, like I said, real-time updates. And to the left here, this was from that 1.30 announcement on night one of our cruise, well below the Arctic Circle. So again, solar maximum, make sure you're looking that up. And then the two images to the right were just taken last week. So this will be the norm, not the exception. And Northern Lights is only one of the amazing components of the cruises that we offer. So they're not gonna be cold, they're not gonna be grumpy, they're not gonna be sleep deprived, they're gonna be well rested, and they're gonna have the utmost uh, opportunity to chase the lights. And the final point there would be that Tiffany came up with a few weeks ago, is that if you're hunting by land, it's the same backdrop, every single photo, but if you're hunting by sea, it's a different, beautiful, majestic backdrop with every photo. If I don't have your attention yet, let me go ahead and spice it up a little bit and say that we also have a Northern Lights promise. So basically, if there are no Northern Lights occurrences on any voyages 11 days or longer between October 1st and March 31st, your clients are eligible for a free cruise. Lead with that. We have, we know this is a huge investment on their part. We know this is a bucket list trip. We want them to have the maximum opportunity to see the lights or come back and get another go at it. So that leads me to our itinerary launches. Well, we already discussed the classic voyage. That's the Bidegans, Hedekinus Bidegans. So if you ever hear me referring to the original or the classic, that is what I mean. And then we have a couple of uh, itineraries that build on that Bidegans, Hedekinus Bidegans route. And then finally, we do have a curated premium package that is ideal for the North American consumer because it is more in tune with what they're used to with longer port stays, more inclusion. So just stay tuned. We will cover all four. So the, I won't get too far into this, but suffice to say the Bidegan, Tietigan, this Bidegan route, highly modular operating year round, six ships. So any given week you search, we will have departures. Um, you can do a full round trip, Bidegan, Tietigan, this Bidegan. You can do 11 days, Bidegen, Hirkenes, and Debark in Trondheim, which is Norway's third largest city. I'll pause and tell you when I was a travel advisor, I would always fly my clients into Oslo, pop them on the train over to Bidegen, then have them sail the 11 day, which is also covered by the Northern Lights Promise, mind you. And then I would have them extend in Trondheim because it's a beautiful city. And then they would hop down to Oslo at the end of the day. If your clients are slaves to corporate America, fear not, we have shorter stints. They can do seven days, Bidegen, Tjirkenes, or six days, Tjirkenes, Bidegen. If you have uh, folks who only have a couple of days and we're closer in, we do open up port to port voyages too, where they can basically book any stretch along the way, but that would be closer to departure before those open. So if you have those Northern Lights inquiries, I would also consider looking at the astronomy voyage. So this one is select departures. So we'll have renowned astronomers on board with dedicated astronomy lectures, as well as an exclusive excursion to the Northern Lights Planetarium in Tumsa. You see that the route is the same. So the schedule builds upon that classic route, but this is a really great way for your clients to become Aurora chasers. They're not only gonna see the lights, have announcements of the lights, they're gonna learn what kind of lights. Is it an arc? Is it a band? Is it a diffuse patch? Is it a corona? So anything you could ever wonder about Northern Lights, they will learn on these astronomy voyages. Right now, this is primarily an FIT um, option, so it's not yet open for groups. Uh, it is a discussion for groups, but right now it's FIT. If you want to work smarter, not harder, AKA have everything kind of sorted for you, I would consider a Scandinavia forward land and sea package. So we've also relaunched these small group escorted tours that incorporate Norway and Finland. 
We have the famed uh, Norway in a nutshell, rail, boat, and bus. We have the northbound, Bergen to Hirkenes. And then you get to explore Finland. And let me tell you, Rovaniemi is fantastic for northern lights as well. Always popped up on our apps when we were chasing the lights. It was us and it was Finland. So keep that Aurora Oval in mind. Think Santa's Village, think Igloo Hotels, Husky Adventures, Reindeer Adventures, Sami Culture. So this would be a 17 day package. And you can also do the reverse where you start in Helsinki and work your way up north to Hirkenas and then hop on our voyages down to Bite Again and then complete the tour with the Norway in nutshell back to Oslo. And again, 15, 17 day tours, that's hotels you don't have to worry about, transfers, excursions, everything is neatly packaged. And when it's packaged like that, it means that the whole shebang is commissionable at your agency percentage. So we're not gonna a la carte you on the commissions on this as well. So uh, if I were still a travel advisor, I would be leaning forward on these packages because that means there's less for me to do. And I am not mad at that. And then you have the premium package. This one was launched in conjunction with our 130th anniversary. So right then there, you can tell from the map, there are fewer ports along the way. Fewer ports mean that we have longer port stays. So that's what I mean when I say it might be more intuitive to the North American client because you know it's it's just more in line with what they're used to. But we've maintained our DNA of Perfiden. Uh, there's a heavier focus on culinary on these voyages. And just so you know, 80% of our food is sourced locally from the ports of call in Norway with all of our Herkutut Norway offerings. It's a big part of who we are, and we do provide an amazing culinary experience. On this one, you'll have food tastings on board. You're going to learn if we salt things, if we smoke the fish, too. how do we cure it, all about the ingredients. We have ladies who handpick cloudberries and hand deliver them to the ship. It's not inconceivable to get king crab and Holmlingsvog and serve it that day. So really uh, uh, heavier focus on the culinary here, heavier focus on education. It is more inclusive with the onboard amenities and it also tacks on the Southern bit of Norway that the other cruises don't. So you do have the opportunity to see the uh, Norway's capital sail to the southernmost port part as well as the northernmost part of Norway. So that's just a little bit about the Northern Lights, but we don't just chase the Northern Lights. We also chase the midnight sun because the sun does not rise in the winter and it does not set in the summer. So we have 24 hour daylight. Once again, you'll see that I've tagged the Coastal Express here, that classic route. We have a Scandinavia forward land and sea package. And then we have another curated premium package that is ideal for the North American client. So I won't touch too much on this, the Coastal Express, six ships, any stretch of the means. The one thing I will call out for summer voyages is that on day two northbound, we do deviate into the Geirangerfjord. This is a fjord, it's a UNESCO listed uh, uh, heritage site. Very impressive. So it is, it does have that additional fjord. And in the fall, we sail into the Jodenfjord, just so that you know here. But basically, most of this will take place uh, under the midnight sun above the Arctic Circle, but still 24 hour daylight uh, below the Arctic Circle as well. So if you have insomniacs, fear not, send them with us. We usually hug the coast. They'll have beautiful landscapes 24 seven, generally speaking. Uh, working smarter, not harder. We now have Sweden. Sweden has entered the chat. Take the ferry over to Helsinki, rail up to Rovaniemi, work your way up to Kirkenas and then sail south to Bad again. So that's uh, overnights in Sweden, you have plenty of land in, in Finland, and then you would end here in Bad again. And then the premium uh, Svalbard Express under the midnight sun. This is uh, us revamping an old Svalbard Express, which was a government contracted route between 1968 and 1982. Um, both the North Cape Express and Svalbard Express were launched in conjunction with our uh, 130th anniversary. So we've handpicked these ports, we've extended the port stays, and this is a really cool way to experience the high Arctic without having to take on that expedition price. Um, and you really get to go to the northernmost everything when you get to Svalbard. So I just want to touch on the Svalbard archipelago because it, it is wonderfully wonky. And just in case Armageddon is ever upon us, 
this is where you want to go, ladies and gentlemen. You do not need a visa to move here, so that's nice. Uh, you can't give birth here. You will get voted off the island if you need to give birth. You're not allowed to die here. I don't know how that's enforced, but it is against the rules. If you have cats, I'm sorry, you'll have to leave poor Garfield at home. They are, in fact, illegal in Svalbard. If anyone is tuning in is uh, a trivia um, or avid trivia folks, maybe you'll get these questions at some point. The reason is that uh, there's too many protected migratory birds in the Svalbard archipelago. Uh, northernmost everything. So if you want to send yourself a postcard from New Orleans, this is the northernmost post office in the world. And once you are in the Svalbard archipelago, my dear friends, you are within 800 miles of the geographic North Pole. So it doesn't get uh, much further north than here. Only about 2,500 or so inhabitants in this region, and there are known to be more polar bears than people in the archipelago region. Once again, more inclusive, longer port stays, larger coastal experience team with a lecture program, heavy focus on culinary. So I know I'm coming at you hot. I got lots of information, but fear not. Make sure you're reaching out to Tiffany and myself for more information. We have loads of training links outside of this as well. Uh, but I mentioned that classic route and that we have frequent departures. So that is where you see all of these classic voyages, astronomy voyages that build on classic. Follow the lights tours that build on classic and add land elements and then follow the midnight sun tours that build on classic and add land elements. And then to the right here, you have the two premium itineraries. Again, think more inclusive, longer port stays, kind of easier to explain to clients, I guess. Uh, and I don't know that you can really position this route against anyone else where we kind of have our own niche. It's the most authentic way to explore Norway. Hands down, I hired onto the company in 2016 with a cheeky Sarah Palin tagline. I could see the ships past my house because this image that you're looking at right here could just as well have been my front yard <laughs> from home as a kid. So I've known her for a very long time, the most authentically Norwegian experience. So classic, remember Bergen, Kirkenes, Bergen. Anytime I say classic, think Bergen, Kirkenes, Bergen. Life on board is awesome. It is a very different life than what your clients might be used to if they go on the big white ship. So if your clients want casinos, late night entertainment, discotheques, please don't book us. I don't like angry calls. They would probably not have a good time. If your clients are seekers of knowledge, they like a quiet, leisurely affair, then we could be a good fit. Uh, we just sailed a few weeks ago, so we had people knitting, playing cribbage, playing cards, bridge, backgammon, uh, you know, those types of activities during the day and then gathering at night over a Nordic cocktail and hunting the lights. So it's it's got like two speeds, but neither really require a vacation from the vacation. So if we're looking for the kind of uh, experience, then I don't think we would be a good fit, but we absolutely loved our experience. It's like a slower pace of life in Norway. And I think that's something that North Americans could stand to have a little bit more of. Uh, we entertain through education. So we have lecture halls, taking the Northern Lights from your hot tubs. I did mention we provide a lovely culinary experience. So we do have that fitness center to offset the caloric intake. Uh, the gift shop is lethal, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, make sure that you have your clients leave some extra space in their luggage because there's loads of good stuff there. And of course, ample observation deck space. Are we looking for whales? Are we chasing the northern lights? Are we watching the landscape lazily glide by? I also want you to position this product as your base camp at sea. When your clients are looking at Herkenhutten, you will find that our staterooms do run more compact than what they might be used to otherwise. So I want you to see the ship as your clients home away from home. We don't spend an exorbitant amount of time in our staterooms, uh, I'm sorry, in our bedrooms at home. So the intent is to not spend a ton of time in the stateroom. Think of the 180 degree panorama lounge, that's the living room. The restaurant is the kitchen. It is built with the base camp at sea, the home away from home mentality. And if space is important to your clients, please just go ahead and just lead in with a suite for them because the suites are larger. 
We do not have casinos or late night discotheques, but we have loads of edutainment lectures, points of interest out on deck. It is an immersive experience. And ladies and gentlemen, immersion is the new luxury. There is uh, a high desire for education. So we're gonna talk about World War II history, flora and fauna, Northern Lights, Norse mythology, Viking history, points of interest out on deck anytime you pass areas of historical and cultural significance. You also have the opportunity on the classic route to travel like a local. And this is magical. You get to see how we still connect the coast all these years later, 130 years of connecting the coast. You can see these family reunions, or maybe there's like a wonky soccer team that just pops on for a few hours because we're still the fastest route. The fjords have not gone anywhere. They're still there. And we still need to get people from point A to point B. I traveled Trondheim to uh, fight again here just a few weeks ago, and I absolutely fell in love with the concept of traveling like a local. Since we do source 80% of our food locally, we do have an amazing culinary affair all on all of our ships uh, in Norway. But I do want to just stress that the intent is to provide a regenerative experience. The intent is to contract with as many local suppliers as possible because we want to benefit the coastal communities. Uh, and that in turn is sustainable, fewer transportation miles, less storage energy use. And like I said earlier, the freshest cuisine you can find. So it's really just our in our DNA to help the coastal communities. We celebrate them. And then in return, they celebrate us. You're not just going to see Norway with her food. You will taste Norway as well. So all of our foods have stories. We have lovely uh, inspirational links about uh, who we work with, who our suppliers are, because this is really important to provide you with the most authentic Norwegian experience. So with the classic route, you have Torga, that is the main restaurant where full board is included. Breakfast and lunch is buffet, generally speaking, and dinner is usually a seated affair. Um, you can communicate your dining preference at the time of booking. We will do our best to accommodate, but if all 500 plus passengers want to eat at the same time, we will have to divvy them up a little bit. So just keep in mind, please communicate your client's preference for dinner as soon as possible so we can add those notes to the booking. Optional would be the Bistro Brigga. This translates to wharf. And this is where you can get a lot of comfort foods, uh, Nordic dishes. You can get salads, sandwiches, wraps, and of course, freshly prepared pizzas or gastro burgers. Um, for those who require a little bit more a la carte fine dining, we do have Houston as well. This is the a la carte option. You can have five course meals and then just really uh, enjoy the free range meats, the freshly caught seafood, award winning cheeses. There was a blue cheese out of Trondheim a few weeks ago that won a world championship. And I was uh, that day years old when I realized we had world championships for cheese, but we won and we do contract with that particular supplier. We have been keeping dentists in business since 1893. We are obsessed with sweets, so we have to have a bakery on board. We have, uh, we're so obsessed that we have a saying called Lördagsgott, Saturday candy. Everyone is just eating candy and other comfort foods every Saturday as we gather with our families in Norway. And then I would encourage you to uh, indulge in a nice Nordic cocktail in the Explorer Lounge. So just like we contract with local food suppliers, we also have distilleries that make premium Arctic gin only for her Herpiruten. Premium Arctic Akkevit, only for her Herpiruten. On our Trollfjord, we have organic IPAs, only for Trollfjord. So there is a celebratory, there's a mutual respect between us and our suppliers, and we really try to celebrate each other all the time. Uh, we do have well-appointed suites, so all of our ships have been refurbished in 2016 or later. So even though there's a working element to our operations, we have well-appointed suites, floor-to-ceiling bay windows, two-room suites, mini-suites, and a wide variety of ocean view and interior staterooms. Whatever the case is, we also understand that you, a budget is a budget, so your clients just have them book with uh, whatever it falls within their budget. And just also just keep in mind that this is meant to be their bedroom. So they're not going to spend a lot of time. And if they do anticipate to spend a lot of time in their stateroom, then you should just go ahead and lead in with a suite. 
So included in the classic voyages, cabin grade, cabin number, full board, dining time, coffee and tea throughout your voyage, Wi-Fi is included, three-person coastal experience team, and important here, so port charges, taxes, and fees. That price you see on the website is your final price. The port charges, taxes, and fees are baked in, and gratuities are not expected. If you're looking at the North Cape Express and the Svalbard Express, again, those premium voyages, they will take place on our 500 passenger vessel, the MS Trollfjord. She was fully refurbished in spring of 2023, and she boasts of a two-story panorama lounge, saunas with floor-to-ceiling windows, theater-style seating, lecture halls. Again, we've really gone in on the culinary elements, so the fitness center is there. Um, and if they don't want to work out, then just tell your clients don't wear any tight clothing. So leave all tight clothing at home, just dress leisurely. There is no dress code with us, so they can wear whatever they want to wear. I do have a video walkthrough of the gift shop as well. Your clients will be spending money there. And of course, the observation deck space. This is where you hunt the lights. And then the, the deck space is right off of the panorama lounge. So just think of us running here, geeking out over photos, then running back in to warm up, have a signature cocktail or a hot chocolate if you don't partake, and then running back out. So this is where we were back and forth uh, just a few weeks ago. Just like with the classic route, we'll have hiking opportunities, points of interest out on deck, and lecture programs. And then it is more inclusive than the classic uh, on the North Cape Express and Svalbard Express. So you have full board dining in Flura, which is our main restaurant. Breakfast and lunch, again, tends to be buffet format, and dinner is a uh, seated affair. But we also have uh, Brasserie Aram. This is included for all guests for lunch and dinner. And Aram is our way of showing respect and gratitude for the Sami people, everything they've done for Norway. This is a northern Sami word for the fire at the heart of a lavu. And a lavu is a temporary dwelling used by Sami people for thousands of years, and it's a place to share stories. So, for example, we were sailing down the Alta Fjord on our way into Alta. All of a sudden, humpback whales start breaching. Orca, it was teeming with tens upon tens of whales, and we were just completely geeking out about everything. And then we all had lunch in Aram, and then we all shared our pictures and told the stories. So here you can have traditional dishes with a modern twist. So maybe you want to try the Sami reindeer stew, sliced smoked reindeer meat. Uh, I had crab cakes there, pepper steak with Bernay sauce, really nice culinary affair. But the star of the culinary um, journey on the Trollfjord is Rust. So we had a large group of advisors with us last month. And this was the number one recurring feedback that just was absolutely amazing. Every meal, every dish is paired beautifully with a wine, or you also have a non-alcoholic version. This is another reason to look at sweets. It is included for sweet guests for lunch and dinner. So just really, really well thought through culinary affair. Um, and it was so good that we all, I think, went back about three or four times. And then the 1893 bar, again, this is electric. It's calm and leisurely knitting, crocheting, card playing games by day. And it is electric by night, but not in the discotheque way. It's electric in the sense that we're all there for a common goal. If you're sailing in winter, for example, that we're all celebrating the fact that we see this beautiful show of Northern Lights. And then you have these amazing mixologists in there and they are just the most social, nice people they have won international mixology contests it was just a really cool affair and it just pairs so nicely with the aurora hunt um, lots of well-appointed suites uh, on the thrill field you do have private balconies or bay windows floor to ceiling you also have a wide variety of other stateroom options as well and i i think just keep in mind look at this as your client's bedroom so it is more inclusive. They'll have two restaurants included, unlimited um, house beer, wine, select cocktails, select spirits uh, during all opening hours. Um, also sodas and glass bottles. I think it's just important to call out sodas and glass bottles because it's the best way to drink soda and that's how we serve them. Um, multilingual coastal experience team will have a more robust lecture program, photography tips, we'll have movie nights about the northern lights, and if you're going hiking with the team, we'll have the crampons and the trekking poles. If you're looking at the North Cape Express or the Svalbard Express round trip, 
uh, and you will also have additional amenities for the suite guests with the clothing packages, included excursions, as well as access to the fine dining restaurant. Just so that concludes the first half of this uh, presentation or the presentation element, I should say. So we do have our Black Friday offers for um, for Hoofdude of Norway, where you can save up to 50%. It is the most aggressive showing of pricing. So if you have those clients for Northern Lights, Midnight Sun, Fjords, if you have river clients, you have Fjord clients, I would highly recommend that you encourage them to book during the sale. Trade has, uh, has had exclusive access to the sale through today, and tomorrow it's gonna open for consumers. So uh, Tiffany actually pulled some sample rates here. So twelve seventy one per person for the twelve day Bergen Kirkenes Bergen, fifteen twenty five for the cruise only thirteen day North Cape Express. That's a really aggressive price point, and the Svalbard Express that combines Norway and the Svalbard Archipelago, three thousand ninety five per person lead in for sixteen days. That is an aggressive per diem. Uh, but wait, there's more. I couldn't let you stay without having an Oprah gift uh, in the presentation. So any classic North Cape Express, Small Barn Express, Astronomy Voyage, Follow the Lights Tours. If you book anything with deposit by, uh, by November 30th, make sure that you mention the incredibly cryptic code webinar. And that will unlock 800 kroner shipboard credit per person. Once again, please tell your clients to leave some space in their luggage. I was team carry on going there, not team carry on coming back. So I'll come back to this in a second. I will attempt here to now give you a quick overview of our travel advisor portal. So if you have not registered yet, agentportal.herdygruten.com. I kind of need you to sprint over here and make sure that you have re uh, registered because this will save you time. It will add value to your day. I also mentioned that we have both brands and both brands are featured here in our agent portal. So when you log in, you're gonna see this little home page here and you're gonna see these tabs at the top. So if you're looking for expeditions, you'll have that drop down here under expeditions. And everything that we have discussed today is under the Norwegian Coastal Express. We also have with every offer, we'll have landing pages featuring which departures are featured and then you'll have some news. So if you have some time, just kind of click around. Um, the Norwegian Coastal Express, that is where we live here with her food of Norway. So you have a parent menu and then once, you know, it's basically intuitive, it prompts you through. So as you make your selections, that's going to determine the next step. But everything that we discuss, the original Coastal Express, if I were to tick that, that is that Bergen, Kirkenes, Bergen route that so many other programs kind of build upon, but this is the cruise only. So once you select the Coastal Express, the next one will be, do you want the 12 day round trip? Do you want the voyage of discovery that ends in Bergen for 11 days? Slave to corporate America, seven day northbound or slave to corporate America, six days southbound. So that will determine um, the next step. And of course, we have departures year round. So just select your departure. If you go to the parent menu and do the original Coastal Express tours, that will then trigger the astronomy voyage the follow the lights tours and also the follow the midnight sun tours. These are only on specific departures though. So we will endeavor to get that full list up in the marketing tab, which I'll cover here in a second. Um, then you have the Svalbard Express. Once you select that, you can do full round trip, 11 days north or 10 days south. So you always have modular opportunities with us. So it's not just a one size fits all we have. We, we do offer these modular blocks that you can uh, explore. And then you have the North Cape Express. So you can do the North Cape Express, Oslo, Holningsvog, but again, but again, Holningsvog, Oslo. There's almost too many choices, but each season has six different ways to explore. We have a separate recording. I'm not gonna go into all that, but you know, just make sure you're reaching out to Tiffany or myself. We can send you all the assets after the fact. Um, and then port to port, I mentioned that this is something a little bit closer in, but you can select any one of these 34 ports uh, with your preferred departure date, and then that will basically allow you to book. So let me go just kind of go through uh, sample booking. So let's just say I want to do the Bergen, Kirkenes, Bergen. I'm just going to select a date a little further out here. Let's say we want to go in April 
two adults. If you need an extra cabin, add one here. Or if you have a solo, that's no problem. Uh, you just go ahead and add that there. And if you need, if you have guests with limited mobility, we do have accessible cabins on our ships as well. So I'm just going to click search here. And that will take me to the next window. And I wanted to showcase the original Coastal Express because uh, we do have so many departures. So I just kind of want to get you in the habit. When you're searching for the Coastal Express, I want you to remember there's six ships operating. So we only search in blocks of seven days. Why? Because if I click here, look how many departures. We generally speaking will have four or five departures every single week. So when you see this, this is anything that is available within seven days of the, the, the date that we searched for, which was April 4th. Um, anytime you see something with a blue banner, for example, that showcases what promotion is on offer. Anytime you have a hot, uh, the underline that is a hyperlink. If you wanted to view the itinerary, it'll take you to the next window here and you can kind of get a day by day overview. Um, also what's included would be further down. So if you just have some time to kind of poke around, you can do that. Um, and then polar inside. So that's an interior cabin. We have a couple of categories nestled under there. Polar outside is a lead in ocean view stateroom, generally speaking on lower decks. Then you have the more favorable positioned Arctic superiors, and then you have larger expedition suites. Um, I will cover the deck blends here a little bit later on with marketing, but let's just say I want to do April 5th. Uh, and I selected the departure here. Make sure that you're tracking on the quote summary to the right. I selected Arctic Superior and our system is going to give you an are you sure window and you'll see that Arctic Superior is selected, but it's giving us the option to back out if need be and make amendments. I'm sure I want an Arctic Superior. And you'll see once you have that, any category or grades that are listed under the Arctic Superior show up. So if you see anything with a D, that indicates fixed queen bed. And if you see anything with a number, that is number of berths. And generally speaking, that is an indicator of separate beds. Uh, P means promenade deck, U is generally upper level. I will do a separate recording on just the deck plans here in the next week or so as well. I think I wanna go with an uh, Arctic Superior U2D. And you see that as I click that, it updated and the next window will be that it gives me a uh, cabin number selection so you see it's actually pretty well sold out here so i just have 616 that i can choose from but at least i know that it's midship so if there are more staterooms available then that would then pop up and you see that when i selected 616 the quote summary uh populated so the next step will be to add extras uh this is where you can add um, excursions and this is important to note when you are um, working on herpetic inquiries. Excursions, if you're booking an agent portal, um, excursions can only be added at the time of booking. So if you have an existing booking in place, um, then you have to call our reservations team because it's not live after uh, the booking is placed. But you can see here, you see all of the excursions and they are ranked by the date. So Saturday on the 6th, let's just say I want to do the Art Nouveau walk. That's going to highlight if you want to do it for one of the guests or both. So I'm going to select both and then you'll see that the extras has populated here on the quote summary. And let's just say one of them wants to do the Need Littles Cathedral, just select one and then that will pop up there. And basically select all the excursions you want. We do generally speaking have a lot of excursions to choose between. So just make sure that you kind of look through that. And when you're done, you just click continue and you see that the price is populating here. You can select the, the, the drop down, and you can see that there's a difference in price here. That will then take you to where you kind of key in the names. The next window will be that you have to accept terms and conditions. Please make sure you are sharing the terms and conditions with your clients um, uh, before they enter into any type of financial commitment. And then once you're done, you would then confirm the booking and that it would pop up in your my bookings session. So I don't have any active bookings, but I did have a mock booking for Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie recently that I did. Um, so that's kind of just how that works. And if you need additional training, just reach out to Tiffany or myself. 
For the marketing aspect, though, I feel like this is where you guys are going to live. So agentportal.hurdygritten.com forward slash marketing. Anytime we have an offer, we have an amazing marketing department and they always uh, make flyers, social media assets, web banners and videos that you can just quickly download and use for your sales practices. So right now we have this for Black Friday for Norway. If you are in the expedition space, you have it for, uh, for expedition as well. Um, we have the Northern Lights Promise. I feel like that's a really great sales tool to sell into um, the Northern Lights offerings. You have a flyer, social media assets. It will put your clients' minds at ease. I also want to talk about our single supplement waiver. Uh, we are an industry leader for solo travelers. So make sure that you are listed, uh, you know, checking our list every single month. For example, we have a list now with loads of departures, no single supplement all the way into May of 2024. And this is an evergreen policy with us. So if you have those solo travelers, we have them for both brands. Now, it's very important to note that if you are looking at solos, we do not have a lowest price guarantee. So this will really fall to you and your consultations uh, that you need to prepare your clients that there is a single supplement if they book far out. We don't have our heads in the sand. If we get to six to eight months prior to departure, and let's say that uh, you know it, we still have a surplus of cabins, we then open those for with no single supplement. Uh, but we will not match existing bookings. So what I would appreciate if you do in your consultative practices, put the burden of proof on your clients and say, you can take the chance if you are uh, sure that you need this departure, go ahead and take the supplement. Because we don't know, we're not mind readers. We don't know if something's gonna go on sale later on. Uh, so I just wanna reduce, I wanna set the correct expectations is what I'm trying to do. And then you can tell them that Hurtudutin is really good about uh, solo traveler offers. So if they're flexible, let's say they don't really have a date, then maybe you want to chance it and then look every single month until something pops up. So generally speaking, rule of thumb would be six to eight months out, but just set those expectations. Either way, we always have them. So I just wanted to set that um, expectation for you here. And then a few other things, you can order brochures from our agent portal. And we also have additional resources, logo usage, and a really impressive image bank. So most of our ships have photographers and we're always uploading to the image bank. I think we're closing in on about 80,000 images. So you can definitely pull directly from our image bank. So lots of tools here. You can uh, learn about our product offerings if you go to the learning segment. There's training blocks as well. Uh, very important though, if you could go to the homepage and then scroll down, contact our sales team. It's very important that you're contacting the right BDM. I am Norway. My counterpart for expeditions is Glenn Eastwood. So if you have time, download the maps for both expedition and Norway so you know exactly who to contact, and arguably more importantly than that, agent rate request information. We do um, have a reduced fare program where you can apply for TA rates. So just make sure that you are, once again, going to the homepage, scrolling down, click agent rate request information, uh, and then you can always submit the application here for reduced fare. We're all firm believers that you can sell better if you've experienced it. So just make sure you're always keeping your, um, your business development manager in copy as well so we can track those requests for you. Um, so I think that's about it. I think I've covered the marketing and the product. So Erin, let me pass it back for you and if we have any questions. Absolutely. Well, Lynn, I, I mean, we've just got such excitement in the chat being able to share um, about these stunning experiences and, and the way that, that you're going to take care of, of our travel advisors clients. So thank you so much for this amazing overview. Um, great walkthrough of being able to talk that. So I just wanted to, to drop that. So we have got, yep, we've got a handful of questions here. And, and the thing I do want to let all advisors know as well is if we don't get to your question today, I will be sharing that with Lynn and her team, and then she'll be able to follow up with you directly. But let's see here. So Lynn, the first question came in early, so I'm, I'm going to do my best to spark your memory on this. But, but the advisor had asked, is it possible to do the six-day classic with the nutshell add-on only? 
Okay, that is a great question. Um, this is something that we are working on. So a uh, little convoluted answer. The answer as of today is no, but it is something that we are working on. It was largely due to the fact that they had paper documents before and we have e-docs. So there was, um, you know, the, it didn't work out before. So we have sold it in the past. It is in discussion. So it's something that we hope to add back. Until we get to add it back though, the source of truth for the Norway in a nutshell is Fjord Tours. So that's fjordtours.com, highly reputable company. So as a stopgap until we can get that back in our product portfolio, that would be the source of tr truth for you. Got it. Thank you. Now, when's the, when is the best time to go to Norway, Lynn? That is a trick question uh, because there is no bad time to go. Uh, we have four distinct seasons. So immediately, if you get that question from clients, you need to bounce it back. It is wholly dependent on what they want to experience. So if you go September, October, you have the remnants of summer and the onset of fall in the northern regions and the northern lights. So let's say you want to do northern lights, but you don't like snow. Uh, so that would be a good time frame, September, October time frame, because you have ample daylight hours and northern lights um, if they want the peak whale season or christmas markets or northern lights is all they want to do maybe they want to go during november to january that's when we have the polar night you need the darkness and clear skies to see the northern lights uh, if you want to see weird norwegians uh, acting crazy go in spring because we've emerged from our dark caves at that time and the sun has returned. We see the first bald spot in the, in the road as the snow melts. So that is when we are super happy. And if you don't want the sun to set, you want the highest amount of daylight, you want the, the most outdoor activities, then of course, the most festivals, then you would want to go during the midnight sun season, which is summer. And you can go back four times and have four distinctly different experiences. So uh, any time is good. Excellent. Oh, that's phenomenal. So Lynn, I apologize. I know that this was a, a bullet that you mentioned there in, in your spiel about when is the best time to go to um, Norway, but specifically Northern Lights. Is that year round as well? Or, or what's the best time to see Northern Lights if a client comes? Northern Lights are prevalently seen anytime between, I would say, mid-September through March. And that's only because of the darkness, because they occur year round. We just can't see them due to the midnight sun. Uh, and once again, that is a frequently asked question. You will get that question. So once again, you have to say, you have to fall to a secondary characteristic. What do you want? So Northern Lights are pretty much a given anytime between October and March. Uh, because we have the Northern Lights promise as well. But if they don't want snow, maybe they want to do October. If they want all the winter activities, so dog sledding, snowmobiling, polar night, cross-country skiing. Yes, you heard that right. We have cross-country skiing as an optional excursion. Then you're going to want to send them into the winter. Um, and let's say they do want increasing daylight hours, but they also want the winter wonderland. Then you might want to look at February or March. So always when you get that question of when the best time to hunt the lights is, it does entirely depend on what else it is they're looking to experience. Got it. Oh, yep. That, that valuable, valuable information. Thank you. So I'm going to combine a couple of questions here regarding children. So the first part of the question is, is, do you have child age minimums for sailing slash do you have discounts for children? No age minimums. Uh, and yes, we have discounts. So children ages four to 15 at the time of sailing will travel up to 50% off. And we do have triple and quad stateroom options. And then if you're traveling with an infant and they don't require a birth, if they're co-sleeping, then they would travel at no charge. So that would also be like a multi-generational. There's loads. I don't know if we have any people in the Midwest tuning in here, but if we do, uh, you probably have a nice client base of Norwegian descent. And those grandparents are going to want to take all those generations with them to go visit their homesteads. So we are family friendly. And even in the summer, we take it a step further. And on our 12-day Bergen, Kirkenes Bergen route, we have a Young Explorers program, which is a dedicated lecture program curtailed to children. Oh, Keep me honest, it's either six to 12 or seven to 13. Safe to say at least an eight-year-old will have that program. <laughs> I just can't remember the exact year. 
<laughs> Excellent. Okay. So I know we talked about we talked about sailings, we talked about resources. Let's talk about solo travelers. I know you, you gave a, a speedy overview of that, but tell me a little yes. bit about solo traveler authors that you guys have. Can you refresh us on that? Yes. So generally speaking, not clickbait. So when you're looking at the solo offer, there's one exe uh, exemption that is for this month, the Black Friday sale. It's such a deep discount. This is the one sale that the solo offer does not combine with. But generally speaking, our regular campaign pricing always combinable with solo traveler offers. So that means if you have a couple and they're each paying $3,000 on the Bergen Kirken is Bergen, and they have a friend they want to bring along, that person will pay $3,000 for the dedicated cabin. Um, and this is something I know that it's becoming a hot topic now, but we did it well before it was cool. And it's uh, it's something that we've always had. It's honestly against our religion to, to punish someone one for having the audacity to not have a partner it's just very important to set the expectations of when to book because we don't know if a departure will go on sale after the fact we don't have a lowest price guarantee and you can ward off any future escalations by just communicating that up front and allowing the client to make their own informed decision as to whether or not to book and when to book so, uh, but loads of departures through May on the classic route and even on the expedition side, I really want to throw a shout out there. Antarctica, Galapagos, make sure that you're downloading those lists on a monthly basis. And in your CRM systems, just take their name, their preferred destination, their budget and check our list every month. I promise you, you will capture those solo travelers. Excellent. No, nope, that's phenomenal. So, Lynn, the, the last question here in just a couple of minutes, and then as a reminder, we've got that prize drawing for the $100 Amazon gift card that we'll just be wrapping up the call with. But you, you did a phenomenal job of sharing so many personal stories about your experiences on, and, and I know, um, you know, I know a no, majority of our advisors can't wait to go on a sailing with you guys, but for those that haven't been able to sail, can you give us a, a little bit of insight on a packing list that you'd recommend for advisors to recommend to their clients or some um, some resources for that packing list that are must takes? Yeah. So first things first, don't pack tight clothing. This is a culinary affair. <laughs> uh, if you do start in jeans, you will likely end in sweatpants. Rule number two, there is no dress code on board. This is, I mean it when I say this is your home away from home. So you can tell your clients that they can dress leisurely. They need to dress for the elements. And when I mean the elements, they need to dress in layers. So make sure that anytime you're thinking of Norway dress, in layers and on our website on our consumer site we do have packing lists but if you're going during winter you can expect temperatures in the 20s and the 30s so anybody in the north tuning in it's a thursday for you but basically just layers and we do have self-service laundry on board so don't you don't need to i'm a team carry-on fanatic i almost refuse to check luggage you don't have to overpack for these things as well because it is so leisurely you can do laundry at your convenience, this is your base camp from um, base camp away from home. And then I would just say like, if you're out and about in winter in particular, I like to bring two scarves, two hats, two pairs of gloves, because if it's a snowy affair and it gets wet, then you can come in and let that set dry off and then change and go back out. But generally speaking, just layers and uh, there's no formal nights or anything. You, if you want to wear a ball gown in a tuxedo, you know, go for it. But if we look at you a little funny or the Norwegians, then, you know, it's just because we're not used to it. <laughs> so that's the only reason. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, that concludes our Q&A session for today. And, and as I said, if we didn't get to your question, um, I know we've got some questions about your contact information. We do have that slide right up on, on the stage as well with, with Lynn's information, with Tiffany's information. So those are going to be some great resources for you as well with contact information. So please take a peek at that. Um, and that agent portal is always a phenomenal resource for questions and issues as well. So let's see here. So the other thing I do want to reiterate just here in our last couple of minutes is this webinar was recorded. It's going to be available for on-demand viewing here in just a, just a few days on ASTA.org in the video library. So I know we shared a lot of information today, a lot of great information. I encourage you to, to go back, watch that video, make sure that you're informed, connect with Lynn and her team to be able to take those next steps for your bookings. So 
Now we will move on to that prize drawing. And again, Herta Gruten graciously offered to, to donate $100 and a $100 Amazon gift card to a prize as a prize drawing today. So drum roll, please. Today's winner is, <laughs> well done, Liz. Today's winner is going to be Tony DeMarco. So Tony, congratulations on winning that gift card. I'll be sharing your contact information with Lynn and her and her team will be following up with you to redeem that prize as well. So thank you to all of our advisors who have attended the call today. Thank you to Lynn and Hergerton for your amazing partnership of ASTA for sharing this continuing information. And we hope everyone has a wonderful afternoon. Lynn, anything to add to send us out? No, I'll just say talk for tomorrow, which means thank you for having me. And Hans Jam Tafin Dog, which means have a wonderful day. Thanks all. Bye-bye. All right.